Today is uh, July 10th and we are down in number three into the cucumbers. Um, what we're going to show you today is, uh, actually we're going to be back there, um, showing you how to trim off the leaves and uh, taking off the growth points again. But what we're doing first is, we don't know what's going on, we've got something happening here, so we are pulling any um, cucumber plants that look like this. So these are all coming out. We're going to get rid of those and then we will go and uh, show you what we're doing back there. All right, so here we are and you can see what's happening is we can't even get through the plants without getting wet and uh, picked. So I got rubber gloves on only because they're really picky. So what I'm going to do is we're taking all these leaves off because we no longer need these. And I'm going to, this fruit will be picked off soon, so I'm going to go up past this, oops, this uh, cluster. And I'm hoping you can see it, but, and then I'm going to continue on. Now we have a bunch of growth points again we're going to get rid of. That is very long. I can't believe how quickly these grow. So get rid of all of these and we're going to continue through and this will make it much easier, I'm getting dripped on here, much easier to, um, to lean once we start leaning. So that's what we are going to do and I'm going to get rid of these, get rid of these. Now, the air circulation can um, get through better, the sunlight, and I'm going to start on the picklers. Look at that, Haley. Wow. Isn't that better? Way better. So for those of you who um, haven't watched our last, uh, not it was about a month ago, we had an episode on, on how to properly prune your uh, cucumber plants. So Haley is going to demonstrate again and exactly what to do. these are the picklers, and we didn't really know because you get the little leaf, but you don't know what the growth point is. So now that they've grown, you can see the leaf, the tendril, you got the little pickles, and I'm going to take these leaves off. As close as you can, but so I'm not going to take the fruit. That, so up here... That's an entire growth point with cucumbers on it. So we're gonna leave that one for now. So this but, guy. Yeah, has that grown. one has got to go. Like the that. only reason why we're leaving the one with the bigger, if, if they were little tiny, then we would take it off. But I mean, that's gonna be edible within, probably off. by the end of the day. Yeah. So this is what we're gonna continue doing. So Haley's gonna be on that side. I'm gonna be on this side. And uh, maybe we'll time lapse this, eh, Hale? Fun. That would be fun. What do you think, guys? So, I'm going to zoom out. And we will time lapse and you'll see uh we're you can taking all the leaves off. Yes, we're taking the bottom leaves off like I did on this one or these two. So, you'll see a huge difference within a matter of seconds, I hope. All right, now you can already see what's uh, what's happening. We're getting um, a little bit more airway through there, um, a little more exposure, and uh, we're going to continue. You don't want to take all the leaves off, of course, because you need it for photosynthesis, but we are going to continue down. So we will stop this for now and show you when we are complete. All right, so this is what happens when you don't... Uh, prune because this big guy, oh, let me get my hand, that is a pickling cucumber, huge. I mean, it's still edible, it's going to be delicious, but it should have been picked off, but it was so hidden with all the foliage that we didn't, uh, we didn't see it. So this is going to allow us to pick nice and clean and that not happen. 
So anyhow, just wanted to show you that. And there we go, we are done. Now look at that difference. Now there are some people that say they don't like to prune, they like to keep as much foliage as possible. We find this works great for us. So these, uh, these cucumbers are going to thrive now. Now this is a curled one. And uh, we didn't know what was happening and I read up quite some time ago. When they curl, that means it's too cold. Cucumbers like to stay very, um, very warm. So there you go. Way easier to work and uh, pick. And now we've got to, these ones here have to be um, clipped up at the top. We were going to uh, drop today, but we have too many cucumbers that are down and I don't like them when they lay right on the ground because of when we turn on the drippers, if there's any, um, any wet puddles that form, the cucumbers tend to go white and soft. So, all right, now we'll finish, uh, carry on with this. Haley's doing peppers over, or sorry, tomatoes over on that side. We're gonna get all of our clippings brought up to the front and put them in compost. And there you go. Now I love walking through this. All right, and Haley's over here trimming and um, something happened, she had to do a little surgery. Oh, look at that. Oh my goodness. So what happened, it broke off? Yeah, like it Or broke, just bent? Well, it broke at one of the notches, but it's still attached. So she fixed so. it up with a piece of tubing and uh, some, t oh, that's awesome, Haley. Let's see how it works. Cause we don't want to lose that. There's beautiful tomatoes on it. Good job, Hales. Thanks. So this is why I wear rubber boots and jeans in this greenhouse number four. And Haley wears silly short shorts. And because we have snakes and uh, she gets all freaked out. Oh, I thought I saw one come out of the hole. See him? Where? He's right. Is he moving? I don't know. I don't know. But they're huge. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go back to my side. And here's another look at our, um, oops, peppers that we planted. And these are the ones that we were, our, uh, we were pruning and they are doing fantastic as well. So, it's great. Beautiful. I can't wait to have a fresh pepper. And these are our Asian beans, or yard beans. Um, they're coming along nicely. So they're starting to flower and do their thing. Um, these are my next uh, learning experience on how to um, prune these because there is a way and I just quickly went through it but I think that may be um, my next video but well not my next video my next video is actually going to be in the hydroponic house um, and that will be for our friend Chuck uh, Fenster from uh, Fenster Farm Greenhouse and uh, I'll put the link in the description below and uh, you go and check it out because if anything, if you need any questions at all about tomatoes or even growing cantaloupe or squash up like this, Chuck has the answers. I don't have those answers. Um, so I will put that uh, in the description below. But uh, so we're gonna do, um, he has asked us to do a video on um, our hydroponic and explain how the whole system works. So we will do that for Chuck because he's such a great guy, very knowledgeable. Um, so that's going to be our next video and then maybe we could put a couple up on in one day but we're going to learn how to prune these babies and uh, apparently pruning them gives you the best production ever too. Oh and there's a nice little ladybug. I don't know if you can see him. Cute. Uh, so anyhow, I think that's it for now and um, so we will uh, see you probably Today is Monday and I think we have, um, oops, I'm getting stuck here. Um, we have a lot of harvesting to do tomorrow, so we will really try to scare me. Well, I didn't want to jump out. Yeah, she's filming, so. This, this happens all the time. She just loves to scare me. This is way too tall. I know. <laughs> Anyhow, we will, um, we will get this, the next video up 
as soon as we can. Tomorrow we have a lot to do. We have weed and carrots tomorrow. That's our favorite job, right, Haley? Is that our favorite job, Haley? Yes. Ever? Oh, that and beans. Oh, that and picking beans. Anyhow, those beans in there are going to be nice. Uh, Asian beans. All right, so that's it for today, and uh, thank you all for watching. And be sure to go over to Chuck Fenster's um, Fenster Farm Greenhouse uh, channel and check it out because he's got tons of information for you. Hi, have, Jeff. hi Jack. Have a great day. Bye bye. It's on the. And here are our snakes. There's a little one just bathing on the side, and there's the bigger one. He's not as big as he was the day he swallowed a mouse. There's a bigger one. Oh, is there a bigger one? There's a smaller one, so we may oh. have five. Oh, five we have snakes. a family of them. Actually, they, they're harmless. This guy here, though, is pretty feisty. He doesn't like his uh, space being invaded. Anyhow, I have flip-flops on now. I forgot my boots. No! Don't do that! I don't like you! <laughs> That was not nice. Oh, so as we were saying, scaring each other, she had her flip flops on. I just kind of brushed her foot, and she thought it was a snake. <laughs> and that's why I shut the camera off so abruptly. <laughs> Thank you. You got me.